This is Lake Luzerne in the southeast Adirondacks, probably one of the prettiest spots you'll find on Earth. It has everything, mountains, streams, lakes. It is God's country. I'm Jim Mandel, and I am both a summer resident and later became a year-round resident of Lake Luzerne. My family's been here for six generations and have been fortunate enough to enjoy this area. I wanted to give back to the area, and I had a dream. My dream was, after visiting a school on a canoe trip in northern Minnesota, to create a similar school here in the Adirondacks, one that would both keep alive the traditional arts yeah. and crafts of the region, help the local artisan, and be something that the town could be proud of. I hope you enjoy the Adirondack Folk School. It is part of my heart. At the turn of the century, Lake Luzerne was a very, very busy place, but today it's kind of slowed down a little bit. Here at the Adirondack Folk School, we try very hard to keep the arts, the crafts, and the customs of the Adirondacks alive here at the art school. You can learn how to weave a basket, how to turn wood, how to make Adirondack furniture, how to make soap. It's an awesome school and an experience you will always want to remember. This is the only class that I know of where every student walks out at the end of the class with their own boat in 10-ish ten, ten days. So much fun. Yeah, we're all having a good time and we're relaxed and, and helping each other. One of the things I like is that we're all working on all the canoes and that way you learn. Different problems arise in each one and we, so we learn that way and um, it's just a sense of camaraderie, everybody working on all the canoes and each one is so unique. This boat has been included in the history of the Adirondack Park for over 125 years in that people can now use this boat and explore every part of the, of the Adirondacks with their own boat because they can carry it in their pack to make any portages. So it's an extremely convenient boat, it's a beautiful boat, and it paddles very nicely. Oh, when people actually realize that an ordinary person can make one of these things, it's just astonishing to them. And you know, there's a tremendous sense of pride and using the hand, your, your hands to make a beautiful product and, and then to be able to put it on the water is even more wonderful. And it's nice working with a wooden boat because every time you have it on the car, you pull into a gas station or McDonald's, people will come up to you and say, where did you get that boat? And the students here will be able to say, I made that boat myself. And that's, that's a great feeling. reused waxes. We're taking old candles and re upcycling them. It's a great skill to have. It's wonderful. You can make things for yourself. You can make things for gifts. And a lot of people have their own candle businesses where they sell things. So it's also a very ancient craft. Before electricity was one of the most vital roles in any household. The keeper of the flame, those who knew how to make fire, keep fire. If you can't go back to the Middle Ages, you can come to the Adirondack Folk School and learn how to make candles yourself. Isn't that a blast? Yeah. The wood turning has been along around uh, since uh, 1600, 1700, something like that. I call it sawdust therapy. This is what I do for fun and teach people and give them that oh wow moment that I get every time I turn. Um, we're actually planning to give one of our bowls as a Christmas present to a family member, so that'll be really nice because we made it and it'll be special for them. I would highly recommend the Adirondack Bowl School. They've been very friendly and easy to work with and definitely come and try it out because you'll learn a new skill and take something home. I teach here at the Adirondack Folk School fly fishing and uh, fly tying earring classes, which is the same as fly tying. Limited by your imagination, and you use anything. You know, the fur of the feathers, how beautiful things are. When you learn to fly fish and you go out in there, you start to look at nature. You'll notice how pretty the bugs are. The ones you thought were really ugly now become beautiful. The scenery like this is what's, you know, really great when you get out to relax. Blacksmithing is, is one of the oldest crafts that's still alive today, and it's really, uh, it's the process of shaping metal, this fundamental material, specifically using heat and using a hammer. I'm a bladesmith, and being a bladesmith means that I start in the forge as a blacksmith, and take that forged product and finish it into a knife. So today we're making blacksmith knives. Blacksmith knife is kind of a catch-all term for a knife that is 
forged handle and blade out of one piece of steel. I'm partial to the, the Western grind, that's what this is. You know, it's, it's just... So basically you'll just have to go through it and pick out what you like. So students today will be building end tables. So they get to build this and take it home so they know that they, they did it. So when you look at it right now, it looks kind of chaotic and, and scary, but at each step, it looks a little bit better. So like the bark gets glued on and it looks okay, but still, then it gets trimmed and every step we do, it's like, oh wow, this is coming together. I am making a rustic end table. I feel good. I mean, it's, it's very creative. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time and I have no furniture experience, but uh, Jim is awesome. You know, Jim breaks down step by step by step and anybody can do it. Everybody starts with the same thing, but it looks completely different at the end and, and you get your own unique piece. Today, uh, we're making a woodshed, timber frame woodshed. The satisfaction I get out of these courses is the knowledge of how to do something uh, rather than go to the store and buy something make it myself. It's definitely a self-confidence builder when you successfully complete one of the tasks in the course. People are really interested in timber framing now. You're seeing a lot more timber frame homes coming up. You're seeing a lot more barns, uh, you know, just public places that are being timber framed and people, are, people connect with it somehow much more than they do with conventional framing. You know, I do it for a living and so for this it's, it's nice to just see people take my trade and see what they can do with it. The Adirondack Folk School was a dream of mine. This region, this Lake Luzerne, and the school have part of my heart and my soul, and they'll be here forever. I hope you can come and enjoy the Adirondack Folk School and take part of it home with you. It is truly a remarkable place. <music>